Tonight, we continue our series honoring the people who we've lost to coronavirus. CBS 2's Jessica Moore takes a look back at the lives of two public servants from New Jersey. Mary Jean McLaughlin was the glue that held her family and community together and was constantly seeking out ways to be of service to others. The 89-year-old career educator spent 40 years in the classroom, much of that time teaching fourth grade at the Pingree School in Basking Ridge, where she was beloved by students and staff. She read three newspapers every morning and always encouraged her four children to be lifelong learners and career servants, raising an artist, two lawyers, and a neurosurgeon. Mary Jean was known as an Olympic level shopper who never missed a sale. She loved cooking her legendary meatballs almost as much as she loved weekends with her family at the shore in Seaside Park. Mary Jean got sick at the end of April and died on May 5th, National Teachers Day. Israel Tolentino Jr. was the first firefighter to die of COVID-19 in the U.S. The 33-year-old father of two was known for his charisma, contagious smile, and positive energy. He spent 15 years as an EMT and was a first-year member of the Passaic Fire Department, where he was tasked with grueling physical and mental challenges, but never complained. Izzy, as the guys called him, loved riding his motorcycle, going camping, and volunteering with the Boy Scouts. Izzy's family was his life, and his wife and two kids would often stop by the firehouse on their way to work and school to kiss their dad goodbye. He got sick on March 14th and died on March 31st. One week later, the virus claimed his father's life as well. Two career public servants whose impact will be felt long after their deaths. Jessica Moore, CBS2 News.